All right, let's continue with the muscles of the abdominal wall. First, the rectus abdominis. Rectus means upright, straight. And so, we're looking here, upright, the muscles. And let me read exactly the origin insertion. <clears throat> origin, symphysis pubis and pubic crest. So they originate here. We don't see the symphysis pubis. Insertion, cartilages of ribs five through seven and the xiphoid process. All right, so xiphoid process and the lower ribs. And what does it do? It flexes and compresses the abdomen. It flexes the trunk and compresses the abdomen. <clears throat> Number 12. External obliques. So, origin, ribs 5 through 12. Insertion, iliac crest, inguinal ligament, linea alba. Action, compresses the abdomen and laterally rotates the trunk. So, these muscles. So here, and you see how when they compress, when they contract, the trunk will be pulled laterally. <coughs> Thirteen. Internal obliques originating on the inguinal ligament and the iliac crest, originating on the linea alba and the inferior four ribs. So now we're talking muscles that go in this direction, okay, from the iliac crest to the linea alba and the lower four ribs. So if you look at these three muscles, we have three layers that complement each other, right? And when these three layers contract, they um, will flex the trunk and rotate the trunk. But when people wanna work these muscles, that's why you have to do different types of sit-ups to get complete coverage of all of your, of your abdominals because just doing a straight sit-up, right, will not be the same as if you turn your trunk so there are different positions of sit up. So this is why, because the muscles overlap, but they run in different directions. The other thing is when these muscles intersect, when you get to uh, path, um, <clears throat> pathology, sometimes there are weaknesses, right, in the intersections. And that can be where a hernia will present. And a hernia means that there's a, um, a weakness in the abdominal wall so that the internal contents of the abdomen, the intestines, can protrude through. <coughs> so that's it. Uh, oh no, transversus abdominis. So we have origin iliac crest, inguinal ligament, ribs 7 through 12, and insertion, linea alba, and pubis. So again, we'll have some lateral rotation and compression. So we can't see there. But the transversus muscles go not oblique, right, but perpendicular to the rectus. <clears throat> See if we can see them better on another. Uh, sorry. There we go. So these are our transverses. <clears throat> and see here how 
the, the muscles weave together the different groups. And in these little indentations there are weak points sometimes. And that's where the hernias will occur, where those different fibers um, weave together. All right. So that's the abdominal wall.